I went to Flagstaff, actually, a few, uh, half a year ago. It's actually really nice over there. This matchup is so bad. Or, oh, for DDD? For DDD. Yeah. This, this matchup's also really funny. I've seen this matchup a lot, because yeah. I play Bayo, and I play with Frog a lot. Yeah. And, like, two things happen. DDD instantly takes 150 damage off a hit, yeah. and Bayo dies at 60. She's almost at 60. Old kill percent. She, she is a kill percent. So I think a lot of this matchup is going to be dependent on how much damage Asta can get per And if he win. can get the kill. Yeah. If he can't get the kill, it's going to be rough for him, because forcing those kills as Bayo is hard. I mean, DDD is the hardest. Oh, my God. He had the call out there. He did. He I've did never seen that in my entire life. That was the hardest call out, man. <laughs> I immediately have to throw. He's ready. Oh, see what I mean? Yeah. What was he at? 80. 70? He's at 80. That is crazy. Yeah. DD's dash tag is the funniest looking move. It's so slow, and the hitbox lasts forever. It's crazy. And he just, like, jumps on you. Belly flop. Yeah, no. <laughs> this is what I mean, though. Like, I feel like Ast yeah. hit him, like, maybe three times. He's at 90. Yeah. But, but he's just dead. It doesn't matter. Getting yeah. hit once. Yeah, he's just dead. Yeah, Asta just needs to like figure out a way to get like 60 damage for a neutral win, or else this is gonna give him. He has a to lot take the trouble. hits far. Poob loves his down B. I can see it already. He loves going for those raw down I think Poob does it for like a like a mental check kind of thing. He wants to break your spirit. I will be scared. <laughs> I, my spirit will be broken. He wants to get you to panic right there. Press his down B and says, "I know I'm in your head." Asta's strings seem pretty good. He just. Yeah. I don't know what Bayo does for he's looking for a raw up tilt. Yeah, there it is. 100%. Here it is. Oh, that's a, yeah, he was at 65. 65 before <laughs> they hit. You called him, Weak man. Weak hit. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is what happens. He should be dead here. Oh. <laughs> Had the F smash. What did he do it? Where did it go? It just hit the Gordo and dipped. This is the part where Bayo sucks. What did oh. she do? Down oh. three stocks is super heavy. That has a broken projectile. You can just hold shield for the next few minutes because no throw is going to kill him. Nothing is going to kill him. Besides, maybe like a raw smash checker back here. Yeah, like all these back here he's throwing out, just press shield. What did, you know, what's she going to do about that? Yeah. You're not going to die to throw. You this, can't. This, this is so sad. This abuse the fact that you're the fattest character in the game. And he's holding center stage good, too. He's not even going to the corner. Like, back here's not going to kill him center stage. Yeah. So, like, he literally has to run up and get the rawest call out. I think Bayo can witch time Gordo if she's close enough. I think so too, but I but feel like Asta's trying so hard to make up the difference that he's, he's not just, ready yeah. for these Gordos to come out. I don't even, Poop's not really throwing out the Gordos this game. He's kind of just taking his lead with that. He's not dead. Yeah, that's not going to kill. This is. He's only at 200. He's only at 200. <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> and he will die to like a smash tag right now. Exactly. Another one of those uppies. Oh, oh okay. okay. Back here to Gordo. Gordo will kill. Make him kill himself. That was on purpose. Asta, that's your hope. Did you say my name? Okay. All right, gotta go play. Let me finish the game, though. Yeah. You know, oh. I would never call any Bayo player out of this. I've seen crazy combos on specifically DDD. Yeah. And I know she has to, like, get in DDD's face to make things happen. And but she she can. That's the thing. Like, she has the playmaking ability Yeah. to bring this back. It just feels like Asta's not getting enough per combo. No, but look, he's already at 100. Yeah. If he gets this kill, DD has to be scared. Yeah, but he's going to take to another. Oh, I don't know. He's doing good at keeping him off stage of stock. He's, doing a lot, he's playing a lot more confident. I don't know. I'm, I'm not seeing him dying for another 70%. But if he. Uh, I was going to say, if he doesn't get a hit for the next 70%, like he stays on ledge, he's yeah. dead. Almost, almost. Oh, you have to win neutral so many times. Yeah. That is so hard. You have to win neutral a ton of times, or you have to have just amazing combos. Well, I'll see you after my uh, set at Station 13. All right. See you later, man. Thank you, Tiger. Hmm? Yeah, no problem. Game two. I don't know where they went, but they're going somewhere. Oh, Battlefield? 
I can see this being amazing for Asta. Like me and Chase were saying last game, a lot of this matchup is dependent on Asta being able to extend these combos to do ridiculous amounts of damage per combo because with the number of neutral wins he would need otherwise, he's just too far indeed in his favor with how he only needs to get Bayonetta to like about 60% before he can uh, start looking for kill options. Not even difficult ones either, as, uh, as you can see from the dash attacks that we're killing in game one. I'm not sure I like these uh, these inhales I'm seeing from DDD though. I feel like he'd get more out of just throwing out an aerial. Oh no. At this point I feel like Asa just needs to pick an option immediately after he grabs ledge because that's, what, the third time this set he's died to that? Pre-100%? Like, that option is insane against Bayonetta. Or maybe just against Asta, but... That is something he's gonna need to have to adapt to because... Boobs is doing a really good job of using it at the right times. Oh, nice match with the inhale. Ooh, I love the options Poop's going for. Every other hit he goes for, he says, you know what, I'm just going to go for a read. He didn't try to go for a standard extension or 50-50 or anything. He says, you know what, I'm just going to go hard. And I can respect that. I love it. I feel like DDD's worst enemy in this matchup is his own Gordo. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no. Asta cannot survive past 80%, and that is unfortunate. Who's just going for callouts? As soon as soon as Asta hits about 60%, he says, I'm gonna kill you. That's all I'm gonna look for now. You're gonna die. Is that it? S D? No, not like this. <sighs> well what happens? It's unfortunate, but. How's it going, Taga? Mm, pretty decent. Not bad. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I think... Oh, we're going to get Boat and Nightwing? Yeah, I guess so. Ooh. Tired, huh, Taga? I've been tired. You've been working a lot? Yeah. Is that why? I've been working a bunch. Just been busy in general. Well, it's always a good thing. Uh, yeah. This, I mean, it's less of like... This is the first week in, like, three weeks I haven't worked seven days. Huh? So... I guess this week is easier than, than usual, but I'm tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. Oh, it's because I couldn't sleep. Just one of those nights. <sighs> how are you, Paul? How are you doing? Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Doing pretty good. I'm gonna get somebody up here for you guys. Sorry, Zyra has to go go play right now. Let me go grab Z. Oh, 